Time's now 4.45. Let's get over to Peyton. And good Tuesday morning. This is another pretty nice start. We've got 50s and 60s with a few upper 40s far, far north of the lake. So overall, it's a pretty cool start once again. Looking pretty good out there. It is quiet. We're going to stay quiet for the most part today. It is going to be a little bit warmer. Our high temperature gets up to around 79 to 80, which is about where we should be this time of year, and we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. But overall, Tuesday's looking fantastic. The low humidity, it's still around through the rest of this afternoon and evening, so it's going to be a pretty nice Tuesday. No big changes yet. Tonight, though, after midnight, that's what that M stands for. Notice the humidity starts to creep up where you see the green. That's when it'll start to feel more muggy, and tomorrow morning as you head out the door, you're going to think, it's back <laughs> in it being the humidity and we'll also be watching for some rain tomorrow. So no rain today, but tonight a few showers tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms are likely do plan for rain throughout Wednesday. 40% chance of rain on Thursday and then a bit drier into the weekend with that weak cool front. That's really not going to cool us down, but it is going to bring us some drier air for a couple of days into the weekend and then it stays pretty dry all the way through Sunday. So let's time out the rain for you over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. Mix of sun and clouds today. Not a big deal. Looking like a pretty nice one if you're going to be out and about. Can't roll out a shower near the coast and in the Gulf tonight. A few showers possible. A few showers tomorrow morning, but then watch what happens as we go throughout the afternoon. We get some daytime heating. Showers and storms start to develop and yes, everyone will have a chance to see some showers and a few storms uh, and perhaps some heavy downpours embedded in these showers as we go throughout Wednesday afternoon. So we're not overly concerned with the flooding threat or the severe weather threat, but we do need to keep an eye on some of these heavier downpours. There are some guidances being models that show uh, a few areas certainly could potentially pick up that three to five inches. That will be very isolated, but it is a possibility. I don't think we're going to see widespread issues, but if it falls in the wrong spot, if, if it falls in that neighborhood that just has poor drainage, a lot of places, then you've got problems. So we'll have to watch that tomorrow. Look at our temperatures. We're back in the mid 80s and by the end of the work week. That front moves through and doesn't do a thing to our temperatures, unfortunately. So we're going to stay in the 80s through the weekend. And uh, the only thing that we might notice from it is a little bit lower humidity and drier weather Saturday and Sunday. But before it gets here, we are warming up in the middle of the work week. So I really hope you do enjoy today. Yesterday was just phenomenal. Today will be about the same, just a few degrees warmer. Tomorrow, low 80s. Humidity is back. Plan for rainfall on Wednesday. A few showers and storms on Thursday with high still in the mid 80s. So no fall weather through the end of the work week. But the weekend's looking a little bit better. It's looking dry for anything going on Saturday and mostly Sunday.